的盾牌。哎呀呀呀呀呀呀呀！完蛋了，完蛋了！我操！On April 13th, the city of Nanchang, Jiangxi Province, found itself once again under the ominous shadow of impending weather chaos as the meteorological observatory issued a stern warning. Heavy rain, fierce winds, thunder, lightning, and even hail were all on the meteorological menu for the day. By 1:30 p.m., the sky had transformed into a menacing tapestry of dark clouds, their foreboding presence casting an eerie twilight over the city. It was as if the clock had leapt forward to nightfall, defying the afternoon hour. Before long, nature's fury was unleashed in a symphony of strong winds, crackling lightning, and earth-shaking thunder. With a maximum wind force reaching a staggering 12, equivalent to wind speeds of up to 120 km per hour, the city stood vulnerable to the unrestrained power of the elements. The consequences were swift and severe, sections of the subway system ground to a halt, disrupted by the ferocious elements, while mighty trees succumbed to the relentless onslaught, uprooted from their earthly anchors. In the face of such tempestuous conditions, local authorities issued a solemn reminder to residents, venture outdoors only if absolutely necessary, and above all else, prioritize personal safety. The unnerving frequency of these extreme weather events serves as a stark reminder of the looming specter of climate change. 北京时间南昌下午一点半的样子。天黑了。Oh, Fluctuations in temperature and humidity, driven by the changing climate patterns, are increasingly tipping the scales in favor of such cataclysmic occurrences. As Nanchang weathers yet another storm, its inhabitants are left to ponder the unsettling reality of a world where the line between day and night grows increasingly blurred in the wake of nature's unrestrained fury.